So one of the nice things about um, Google Forms is that it will allow you to customize it the way you like. That's probably not a really big deal in, in terms of you know whether you want to look a certain way, but there are some other functions that are important. So first let's just start with the way it looks. If you would like to change the color, you can go here to palette, this little palette feature, and then just grab the, the color you like. Say you like green, and that's kind of what it'll look like. Or and Google has added some nice headers and so let's just go to work and school and you'll notice some of these look kind of like the classroom if you've ever been in Google Classroom you can add any of these tons to choose from let's just do a St. Patrick's Day theme even though it's nowhere near St. Patrick's Day and if I were going to preview this this is what it would look like to my viewer. Now as we know that is a very that's probably not the most important feature of forms but it's you know it's nice to you can control how it looks. So let's look at some of the other things like settings. One of the things and this is great is you get to choose as a, a creator of the form who can respond to your form. So notice I, these are my options. Anyone can respond. Anyone in Alexander County Schools. And I can choose whether they submit one time. And that is very important if you're taking a test or if you're having um, students to vote. And you can also do a confirmation message. And they will get this email. I mean, they'll get the message telling them that their responses have been recorded, not in email. And you also have the option to allow them to submit again or edit their responses. Over here, if you click the little three dots, notice that you can make a copy of your form, get rid of your form. I'm not really sure what a great pre-filled link is. We'll get back to that one. Add your collaborators and this is where your form becomes more functional with adding certain add-ons. I really do like this and one of the um, one of the add-ons I have added is called Form Limiter and the thing that's nice about Form Limiter is it allows you to set limits on whether, let's, let's take a look over here, the date and time and the max number of form responses. So that's a nice feature. If you're trying to set limits how many people can join a workshop that uh, you know how many people can respond to that form that's a really nice feature so that is how you would go in and customize your Google form and in the next video we are going to look at responses and where all this data goes and what we do with it once we have it